Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Taurus here, TaurusBeast.com. Yo, just wanted to hit y'all up, get a lot of questions about the Akai MPD32. So, what I decided to do was just kind of like whip mine out and, uh, you know, just kind of explain a couple of things. And this is for beginners, it's basic stuff. So, um, you've probably seen it someplace else out on YouTube. I just wanted to pop this video real quick to just explain a couple of things. I get a lot of questions about you know how do you add samples or how do you store samples in the MPD32 number one you can't do it the MPD32 is a USB MIDI controller which means it actually has MIDI back here in the back MIDI in MIDI out and it also has a USB port back here in the back so it's actually a trigger and this is the best way I can explain it to you no samples are stored in this thing okay there are no samples stored in it one of the ways you can tell is because it's so light, it's very light. There are no hard drives or anything like that in it. There's uh, there's no space to save anything. This is really just a trigger. It's, it's a controller. So that's why you get all the knobs, all of the faders, and all the things like that. So really, there's nothing to store in this device, okay? So make sure that you understand that. That's number one. Now, the other thing I wanted to explain is that with this device, I use it primarily to actually trigger and, and to actually make beats. So I'm actually triggering the sounds in a software device. The software device that I use is Reasons NNXT, or I actually sometimes use the Dr. Rex. So I'm just pointing that out to you. This triggers the sounds that are stored in my computer in Reason, whether it be the device NNXT or whether it be the, DR the DRX. And you can also use um, FL Studio, Ableton Live, you know, Ableton Live, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. If it's compatible, if this device is compatible with that software, these controls, pads, and everything, you can use it to trigger the sound that you want to get, okay? So remember, this doesn't store anything, okay? But it's one heck of a piece of equipment to have in order to control the sounds and to actually trigger out some nice beats and some nice music, okay?